vector calculus gauss divergence theorem if a vector be a vector point function in a region r bounded by a closed surface s yes. then double interval over s f dot n ds equal to triple interval over v del dot f dv so this is the statement of the gauss divergence theorem first problem verify gauss divergence theorem for f vector is equal to 4x z i minus y square j plus y z k over the cube bounded by x equal to 0 x is equal to 1 y equal to 0 y equal to 1 z equal to 0 and z equal to 1 so now we have to verify the gauss divergence theorem for the given vector over the cube bounded by this so now gauss divergence theorem so this is the formula and given f vector is 4x z i minus y square j plus y z k now the cube the cube like this so now this is uh, 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 that means the cube at the point a on the x axis b on the y axis c on the z axis so there are three phase six phases so now here the six phases named by s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 the first phase s1 is z equal to 0 so in this diagram s1 is the base this is s1 that means this is the plane xy plane z equal to 0 and now the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the opposite side is s2 similarly other sides are s3 and s4 etc so now here uh, in Z, uh, S1 plane, the equation is Z equal to 0, the corresponding unit normal vector is minus K. Okay, so similarly for another surface, another face S2, Z equal to 1, S3, X is equal to 0, S4, X equal to 1, S5, Y equal to 0, S6, Y equal to 1. So the corresponding unit normal vectors are minus K vector, plus K vector, and minus I vector, I vector, minus J vector, plus J vector. Now I want to find out f dot n. f dot n is here, n is minus k. This is f vector. When you take dot product between these two, minus k here, k. So this dot product between these two is minus 1. So minus y z. So this is minus y z. So now take dot product between this and this. This is y z. Similarly, minus i with the dot product means minus 4 x z minus 4x z dot product between these two only 4x z minus j dot product between these two minus minus plus so y only y square so dot product between these two is minus y square and now here at the point at the point mean z equal to 0 when you put z equal to 0 here 0 into anything 0 and then z equal to 1 substitute z equal to 1 here only y substitute x equal to 0 here 0 Substitute x equal to 1, 4 is at. And substitute y equal to 0, 0. Substitute y equal to 1, y square minus 1, y square 1, 1 into minus, minus 1. So this is the f dot n at the point. ds is, you see, z equal to 0 is the lies on the, x, z equal to 0 is the xy plane. So that it is dx dy by n dot k, but k is minus k, n, n cap is minus k. So taking modulus, it become 1. Similarly, this is also parallel to xy plane, so the dx dy. x equal to 0 is parallel to y, y z. So dy dz. x equal to 1, dy dz. So y equal to 0, dz dx. y equal to 1, dz dx. Now I am going to find inter double interval over all the 6th region, 6th surface, 6 faces. Okay, so now first I am going to find double interval over S1. So now this is the double interval over s1 f dot n into ds now in this s1 in this s1 f dot n is equal to 0 so that it is 0 and now s2 double interval over s2 f dot n into ds is equal to from the table f dot n is y and ds is dx dy the limit for x is 0 to 1 and limit for y is 0 to 1 so now first i am going to integrate with respect to x so this is y only so integration is y x the limit is 0 to 1 substituting 1 here only y and now integrating with respect to y so y integral is y square by 2 with the limit 0 to 1 substituting 1 here 1 by 2 so double interval over s2 also over 
now double interval over s3 double interval over s3 f dot n ds is equal to from the table f dot n value is 0 so the integral value is 0 and now double interval over s4 f dot n ds from the table f dot n value is 4 is at and ds is dy dz so and the limit for y is 0 to 1 limit for z also 0 to 1 first integral with respect to y so y is into 4 z is only y so limit is 0 to 1 substituting limit only 4 z now integration with respect to z z square by 2 2 cancel so that value is 2 so double interval over s4 is 2 and now double interval over s5 double interval over s5 f dot n ds is equal to 0 because from the table f dot n value is 0 and double interval over s6 f dot n ds from the table f dot n value is minus 1 and from the table and ds is equal to dz dx dz first one integ integration with respect to z is z take minus outside z limit is 0 to 1 substituting limit only dx integration of dx is x and with the limit 0 to 1 substituting limit minus 1 now we found all the surfaces so now double interval over s f dot n ds is equal to double interval over s1 f dot n ds plus double interval over s2 f dot n ds plus etc double interval over s6 f dot n ds now i am going to substitute all the values here first one over the s1 is 0 over the s2 is 1 by 2 over s3 is 0 s4 is 2 s5 is 0 s6 is minus 1 so now 2 minus uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 this is the lhs so lhs of the gauss divergence theorem now I am going to find RHS. For the RHS, we want del dot f. Del dot f del is i vector into dou by dou x plus j vector into dou by dou y plus k vector into dou by dou z dot f vector is 4xyz i minus y square j plus y z k. Taking dot product between these two so that i dot i1 so that dou by dou x of 4xyz plus dou by dou y of minus y square plus dou by dou z of y z now differentiating with the differentiating with respect to x x differential is 1 1 into 4 z only 4 z with respect to y minus 2 y with respect to z z 1 so only y so this uh, subtracting these two minus y so del dot f is equal to 4 z minus y and now rhs this is the rhs of the cost divergence theorem double interval over v sorry triple interval over v del dot f into dv so now del dot f value is 4z minus y dv is dx dy dz limit for x is 0 to 1 limit for y also 0 to 1 limit for z also 0 to 1 now i am going to integrate with respect to x but here there is no x so it is a constant integration of constant with respect to x is only into x so limit for x is 0 to 1 substituting upper limit only 4z minus y now i am going to integrate with respect to y so here also there is no y so into y and y integral is y square by 2 limit limit for y is 0 to 1 substituting limit here 4 is at minus 1 by 2 so this is 4 is at minus 1 by 2 and now integrating with respect to z z limit is z square by 2 minus 1 by 2 integration is z by 2 the limit for z is 0 to 1 substituting upper limit 4 by 2 minus substituting z1 is 1 by 2 now 4 minus 1 3 by 2 this is the RHS of the Gauss Divergence Theorem. So LHS and RHS are equal. So Gauss Divergence Theorem verified. Therefore Gauss Divergence Theorem verified. So for continuous support, subscribe this video. Visit us www.hariganesh.com. Purchase our textbook for the easiest methods for solving problems. All the best.